All right, so I got a quick video here covering this uh, external antenna uh, made by FreeSky. Uh, actually, don't remember the name of it. I'll put it up here on the screen. I've had this for a little while and been using it off and on. Not really seeing such actually any different results from the internal antenna on the X Lite. As you know, in the X Lite, you do have the ability to add an external antenna. You just take a little cover off, and there's an SMA. Um, port right there you can connect this up to and then you have to switch the uh, OpenTX model from the internal antenna to the external antenna to use it. Now what I was wanting to find out before I made my, I was going to make a video to upgrade uh, the antenna on this um, all-in-one Crazy board here and I wanted to see if this um, external antenna would make any difference in terms of extending the range and long story short, it does make a difference. It's not a huge increase in range. It's probably like 50%, 40-50%, something like that in my estimation. But it does seem to help. I'll show you the two flights. The first one, you'll see me kind of circling around. And there's a point where I get the telemetry lost, uh, telemetry recovered warnings on, on from the radio on the first flight without the external antenna. That's a bit closer. And you don't have my normal um, voiceover on this because it was so windy that day that uh, all you could hear was the wind. You couldn't actually hear my voice. So I'm just going to put that up on the screen at the point where you hear that warning. And then that's where I turn around and come back. And then on the second flight, I go further. I go pretty much to the end of the baseball diamond. Um, and that's probably another 50 meters or so. Uh, maybe, maybe 75 meters, something like that. I'll try and figure that out on Google map and I'll put it up on the screen here if I can estimate the actual extension. I actually go about as far as I can feel comfortable going because I, I don't have very good video range. I was only on 25 milliwatts on the video transmitter and there's like the antenna in the back here is not in a good spot. I need, a, I need a different antenna here for more range testing but I just wanted to see if this external antenna would make any difference and I could definitely tell it'll help especially if you guys are using these SPI and receivers with these small antennas like this. I think if you don't want to go through the trouble of replacing the antenna, this might be a useful alternative. So I thought I'd at least show you guys the difference and, and you guys can decide if you think it's worth it or not. I do want to just point out that I did move the antenna from the bottom of the board to the top of the board here. This is the um, Crazy Bee, uh, the F4 Pro V2. And normally the antenna is on the other side, but the little connector is on can you connect to either side? So I just desolder from the bottom and solder to the top and it just sticks out of the side like this. So I wanted to do a test of uh, the range capability of this setup here with just the uh, stock SPI antenna and then this external antenna, you'll see the two, two flights, you'll see the difference. And I'll have another video later where I'll actually replace this antenna with a, a uh, actual another, another antenna like in my previous video with the ground shield and an extension so the antenna will actually come up out the front here and above the battery. So in theory we should have better range and I also uh, want to let you know that I did do the RSSI offset change on here so the RSSI starts at 99 when it is near me and as it goes away it decreases. I think on these um, crazy SPI receivers they normally start around 75 to 80 on the RSSI so I moved it up to 100 or 99 and then you can see a drop off there because normally uh, if you saw in the previous video without that offset it drops off pretty quick and then you're down in the 30s and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on at that point. You have a little bit when you kind of bump it up then you can kind of see that when I'm getting the telemetry lost warnings I'm actually getting them around 35, 40, sometimes around 50. You see that bouncing around when I'm flying around. So if you're wondering about why the number is so high now compared to before it's because I put the offset in. So. Hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this antenna, show you the two flights, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.